Hey, what's going on guys? I'm here to review a really stinky primary weapon very fast as well. I got that strat of our prime, baby. Let's check it out. Let's check out the Riven mod. Let's check out what we got. We got a two form of build. Damage, dual crit, negative to infested. A really epic Riven mod. And we have a viral hunter build. Watch this. I already spawned these guys in. Watch, 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 watch what it does. Watch this. Yeah, yeet. Oh, wow. Inconsistency. Wow, that's very uncommon with hunter viral builds. A very inconsistent build that doesn't won't do a fucking slash proc in 10 shots. Oh, oh my god. Wow, amazing. Holy heckin' frick. The semi-auto mode is so good. It's not a letdown whatsoever. Alright, hello guys. Watch this. We are going to take a look at some builds of Stradivar Prime. And we're going to do it fast. Because I'm a fast boy. Watch this. This is a gas build. Um... There's no need for a gas build right now. So we're going to go with the corrosive build. Watch this. 53% status. Um, decent crit multiplier because we have a ton of crit damage here. Um, two dual stats and a 90% vigilante armaments because you have no extra multi-shot in the ruin mod. And check it out. The weapon itself has a very balanced IPS spread. So it's really stinky in terms of just how low... How badly it applies the status that you want like corrosive and slash so on top of having a relatively low fire rate and status it really doesn't shred armor as fast as you would want it to and it does a ton of fucking impact procs which i absolutely hate so yeah we're gonna see how that does paused enemies corrosive build watch this every other fucking thing is gonna be an impact proc but it'll still kill it, alright? It'll, it'll kill it to a reasonably fast degree. And this might actually be the best build that I've uh, tested so far. I don't even know what I put on, I forgot. Um, alright, now for the semi mode. Oh my god, a little slow. But I'll tolerate it, alright? I'm a tolerant man. As you can see, it spends two ammo per shot on the semi mode. And this guy's gonna die, and that's it. That's how well the corrosive build does. And I'll be honest with you, I really, really want a negative impact driven for this thing. Because just the impact is just a huge letdown. Um, if I were to remove the impact, it would just be so much better. It, the fucking enemies wouldn't sway around everywhere on that really annoying stagger animation and it would be a lot better at applying slash and corrosive which is the thing that I want and uh, it'll do better at applying puncture which is not a thing that I want but it's just a consequence of having less impact you know impact and puncture well puncture is more of a useless fucking burden type IPS proc and impact is a really annoying I never want it to happen type of um, uh, proc so yeah puncture is better th than impact just in in terms of not being as annoying of a status proc, but it's still a complete burden on killing an enemy because it doesn't do anything positive except for take away from the procs that we actually want to happen, like corrosive, viral, gas, slash, and you know, that kind of stuff. Even cold. Cold is a much better proc than impact and puncture. So yeah, um, you would you would think um, since this thing has, has such a high base um, crit multiplier, you would uh, want um, Vital Sense instead of Vigilante Armaments. So yeah, let's test that out because I know somebody's gonna brag about how they're smarter than me because they use Vital Sense instead of Vigilante Armaments. But as you can see, it really doesn't do all that much better. Maybe it'll do better against some any enemy types in some builds, but not this one because we don't have multi-shot in the Riven mod itself. So yeah, fuck out of here with that vital sense. I don't want to see you. I think Vigilante is just a much better choice, personally. Alright, I'm no genius. Um, but yeah, uh, I would if I were to have a Riven, I would pick a multi-shot, crit chance, toxin, negative impact. That would be my ideal Stradivar, personally. I don't know about you. Um, so yeah, fuck uh, let's do a gas build real quick. Let me show you that. It does pretty good against those um, corpus techs, but it's that's just because they're, you know, fucking frail 
as fuck and they uh, get really boinked by gas procs. I'll show you. I'll show you in the semi mode. Um, just st stack in two shots and uh, wow. Can you believe the the amount of bad luck in terms of what status procs I got? That Those were all those were all procs that I didn't want to happen. And yet I have a ton of elemental damage and um, no gas procs happen for such a long time. Let's try that again. I fucking hate status inconsistency so much, dude. If I if I added uh, negative impact to my ribbon, this thing would be so much consist more more consistent. Man, English is really good today for me having a really easy time speaking English. Also, I'm in a rush to make this video because the the Riven's not mine and it's being sold very soon. Um, I'm really being an asshole for taking so long to record this. So, sorry, Banana Cat. <laughs> I'm a really fucking huge dickhead. But, um, big thanks for borrowing, uh, lending me this thing. So, yeah, I had that... Um, Gas build, that corrosive build, viral build. Uh, let's try viral, viral build against corpus units. See if that's any better. Probably not. Honestly, gas, gas just does so good. No, that ain't good. Oh wait, I was using not, not the semi mode. There we go. It's not better than the gas build still. Absolutely not. Ooh, it's pretty stank. Yeah, yeet. There we go. Um, let's kill some bursts now. Back to the corrosive build we go. Oh yeah, um, let's do a different thing now. I'll add this here. Actually, I'll add high voltage. And then, what is it called? Prime tread. So yeah, now we have a respectable fire rate. And we can remove... Um, armor a little bit more easily so yeah this is a higher fire rate build and you'll see how that does bursa uh fuck you two of these two of these and let's observe the results and then i'll let you go then you'll go your way and i'll go my way and you'll hopefully subscribe because i'm gonna do tipito next Wow, what a letdown. That took only 60 bullets. Because we don't have enough elemental damage to skew corrosive in our favor. Whew, what a letdown. Alright, let's use the punch through to our advantage. Can you believe this thing does so bad? Like, it's impressive how bad this thing actually is. Man. All right. Well, I'm going to go to farming a Tipito Prime. Going to get a Tipito Riven. I'm also going to be reviewing those um, Riven Dispo changes. I know you guys are going to be really angry about those. Because fucking Archiplasmor got yoinked. Vectus got yoinked. Rubico got boinked. Supra got boinked. Those are really fan favorites, you know. And to see them go down so hard. Fuck, man. <laughs> that's going to bring interesting results. I'm going to be coming out with that video pretty fast, you know. Uh, maybe 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hours after this one. So yeah, stay tuned for that. That's going to be really interesting. Uh, so, yee yee. What else can I show you? Not much. Bladed rounds? Nope. Speed trigger vial acceleration? Nope, 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 nope. Nothing here. It's going to be that interesting. Hunter track. Wow. I don't even... I didn't even know I had this thing. Overview. Wow. So, yeah, remember. What you want is negative impact on Stradivar. Trust me. All right? You will love it. Um, so, yeah. Pretty much any other... There's, there's full auto secondaries that are much better than this thing. Trust me. Like, I think I would use a rattle guts over this thing. No joke. That's not a joke. That's a serious thing. So yeah, thanks for watching.